Hey guys, if you like this video, please check out my other ones in the description below. And don't forget to tickle that like button and subscribe for more. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode here on my channel and today we are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, this is one of my favorite mobile games. The, the main reason why it's one of my favorite um, mobile games is A, it's free, B, they do have in-game content, but this is the most generous game I've seen on mobile devices to get you items within the game to be able to use. So what I mean by that is up here you have jewels and you use these jewels at the store right over here to purchase booster packs. Now booster packs come in a set of three cards, um, but to get a booster pack they're 50 gems now this game automatically like when you first start to play they give you like easily 2,000 gems and then just by playing unlocking new characters and playing those characters uh, you get gems now this is not a sponsored uh, game at all this is not a sponsored video um, this is just one of my favorite all-time games and I figured why not film it and we will be playing a ranked, uh, we'll be playing a couple of ranked games today. Um, so I am currently rank gold one. I was plat, but they reset every month. So as you can see, they reset, they will be resetting on the 28th. Um, I am playing with my favorite Glad's deck right now, and um, they do pretty well against most decks. Um, Although I haven't been getting lucky recently because they did just do a reset so everyone's grinding to get back. Uh, we are facing a gold one against um, a gold one in France. So I will go second and I missed out picking. I don't, I'm trying to level him up right now. So um, yeah, I typically like when I go into ranked, I like playing Maximilian just because of one of his abilities allows me to see what kind of uh, cards slash traps are set on the field. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we open up with a pretty decent hand. Uh, Floodgate with uh, Gladiator Beast Lakari. Now, this deck focuses around this one card. I have three in the deck because three is the maximum amount. We have half shut just in case he deals damage and it looks like he's going to set a card down and he's playing a cloud deck. Alright. Let's go ahead and set this, set this. Uh, what does this do? This card cannot be special summon. All battle damage to either player from battle involving this monster becomes zero. If this card is destroyed by battle, distribute new fog counters equal to the... Okay. Let's go ahead and battle. Try and push that um, trap. So he's getting counters equal to the level of monsters that destroyed it among face up in the field. Okay, well regardless, I mean, he gets shuffled back into my deck. So those counters go away. I'm gonna summon you. And let's go ahead and just pop his back row. This is one of the reasons why I love this deck, is that I can pop his back row, I can destroy cards on the field with that card that you just saw me shuffle back into my deck, and every time they either deal damage or dealt damage, um, I can shuffle them back into the deck, and he forfeits. Um, so we're starting off pretty good, we're 1-0. and oh. um, Let's go and try and switch my character real quick. Um... Alright, so we have three Gladiator Beasts Bistari, or Lakari. Uh, three Gladiator Beasts Bistari. Uh, Gladiator Beast Mermelo. Uh, Dimakari. We have one, three Enemy Controller, one Floodgate, one Mirror Wall, three Impenetrable Attacks, one Wall of Disruption, and one Windstorm. 
Um, the only reason why I'm running these three are because I don't have three floodgates. Otherwise, I would um, remove two of these and keep one of them. And then we got, yeah, okay. So we are good on that end. Let's hop into another ranked. A lot of times people, when they go up against this deck, they they don't know what to do. Um, I'll, the best I, I would suggest is either stop me before I can attack, floodgate me if you can, or um, wait until after I summon something else to be able to floodgate, um, because you never know. Some people like running, uh, I forgot his name, but he's a 2600 that allows me to play something from my hand that's stupid broken. Um, it doesn't look like it's a good deck. We'll play on the defensive side real quick. As you guys can see, impenetrable attack. Well, you can't really see because everything else. Uh, let me hide those real quick. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Um, see, and this is why I like playing as, um, him, because I know he has a trap set for me, so what I can do is set this, special summon you, get these guys back into my deck. Because he has a wall of disruption and a enemy controller. So let's go ahead and force that enemy controller out. No, I don't want to use it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. That's fine. Because I still have my other card in my deck. That's going to be an issue though, um, so it's all attack facing, right? Attack for each other monster they control. All attack position monsters, yep. So even with 800, I would still, yeah, I would still be lower even if I tried to attack him. So regardless, I'm kind of screwed. And he has another enemy controller, so that's great. Um, do I want to save him? Yes, I do. I want to be able to pop his back row. Should I econ and take, or should I? Let's go ahead and force this one card. Cause if he if he pops it with this, uh, well he could change yeah he could change that into defensive and then pop it with that. But regardless, okay that's fine. No, I'm gonna attack with this. Cause regardless if he pops this or not, um, that's getting shuffled back into my deck. But I'm still dealing ba battle damage, so that's fine. Um, I can in turn shuffle this guy back into my deck. I'll bring out Mermello, put him in 
defense and pop. Uh, pop is uh, this guy. Now I'm at a disadvantage. Well, yeah, I'm definitely at a disadvantage because he has a card advantage right now. And I don't know what that card Discard one card until the end of this turn. Whenever you take damage, you gain that amount of life. Okay. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, let's wait. And let's go ahead and go and attack with this guy. Wing Kariba? Okay. That's fine, because my Mermella is still attack, which means I can shuffle him back into my deck and pull out a Gladiator Beast Bistari and pop his little trap that he has going on right now. Or I could... No, let's pop his back row. There we go. Okay. Did nothing. All right. Waiting on him to do something. Some intense music Yami has. Good lord. Up. Oh, I think he's DCing. I think that's another win for us, guys. Yep, there we go. We got two wins and zero losses right now. Um, we're currently running at 13 minutes, so I think we'll go in for one more game and end it there. Um, still no rank up, that's fine. I know I'll get to plat eventually again. It's not that hard, I just need a good push. Get through all of this extra junk. Match successful, starting duel. Wow, that was quick. Alrighty. We are up against a gold rank one from Mexico, Edwin. And we are fighting Seto Kaiba right now. Win it and you'll go up a rank. Good lord. Um, mind scan, what is he running? Okay, well, this is an okay hand. You got enemy controller and gladiator beast Lakari and uh, Dimakari. I typically like to have him in the deck when we start, just in case, because each of these have, um, like Marmelo and Bistari, have special effects. Um, oh, we're facing a machine type deck. Okay. He's fifteen hundred. Normal summon. Activate. Let's go ahead and shuffle him back into my deck and pull out my... Lucari, which is again the field staple for this deck. Um, waiting for a response. Okay. Whenever he gets special summoned out of the deck through a Gladiator Beast effect, um, instead of coming out as a 1800, he comes out as a 2100, which is why he's such a good card. He's a four drop with uh, 2100. So. 
And we are sitting pretty right now. Target one face-up monster gains 500 attack until end of phase. That's just 500, right? What is that? Already. So I mean, regardless, I would still be able to beat over him. That's fine. Floodgate. Come on. What are you doing? Set. There we go. Waiting for a response. Why is everyone DCing on me? My connection isn't that bad. Come on. God, dude, fix your internet. Feed your hamsters, man. No, I don't want to pop it, because even if he pops it, 500 attack until end of turn, he's at 1,500, so... He would, that would make him at uh, 20... I, I'm still 100 over, so... Come on. This video is going to take forever because of this one match. My connection is fine. I know my connection is fine. Well, there you go. Three DCs in a row. People are just angry left and right when it comes to facing my Glad's deck. Um, I hope you guys had... Bleh, wow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this. Um, if you want me to continue doing the, these types of games. Like I said, I'm filming every day and publishing every day. And I've so far stuck to it. Um... Yeah, so on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget, may the stars be with you, my friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and check out some of the videos I've done with my friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't forget, may the stars be with you, my friends. Bye.